Hey Phil Mike Shongli here. In this video, we're going to make an Instagram lower thirds to promote your Instagram account on your videos. So first we need to have the Instagram icon. I've already downloaded here. Uh, there'll be a link in the description below where you can actually get it from. And we're going to drag this onto our timeline. We want it to be a slightly different kind of rotation instead of rotating it uh, like from the middle or like swivel and tilt we want it to have like a diagonal swivel and we're going to do that by actually changing this rotation first so first we're going to make this minus 45 degree angle so that the swivel actually happens on this axis that follows also this dot and we're going to now make this or nest this first this will actually uh, reset all these values by nesting it uh, yeah, into a nested sequence and now when we rotate this back to with adding 45 to degree angle we'll go to effects and we're going to use basic 3d now when we use swivel it rotates on an diagonal axis instead of in the middle which is actually quite interesting and quite nice and we're going to go to 90 degrees to make it disappear toggle animation to add a keyframe we're going to actually go to like 15 frames so hold down shift arrow three times to the right one two three and add a keyframe here and change this to zero so we can actually see this animation however well, let's change this to full but it is like it's an okay animation but it's not really moving in a particular good way we want to add here an easy in or ease out but Personally, I always manually pull this uh, lever, the Bezier lever, to get like the perfect uh, yeah, way that I want it. And now when we play it, you can see it's going pretty fast and then slows down. That looks like a much more smoother way of movement. However, we, want, we don't want the yeah, Instagram icon to be this big. So we're going to make it smaller to the size that we want. This looks fine. And we're going to add some more stuff actually. Let's also add like a slightly more animation before it happens. Let's make a circle that appears around before this icon appears well, let's make a new transparent video first uh, this is because the we don't want it to be stuck on the same thing plus we are going to use some other animations so we have here transparent and we're going to add a circle here so what it does it makes a actual circle i'm going to change this radius of this circle to be bigger than our uh, icon and also actually instead of being a full circle we're going to do it only like the edge radius like this Mm, actually make this bigger like that should be fine and I'm going to add a preset of mine we're going to add a preset of mine called border reveal there'll be a link in the description below where you can get it so we're going to need border reveal in and we're going to go here uh, make sure it's around 
I think 15 frames should be fine. One, two, three. And cut it here. And add the border review in. And what we will see here is rotates in. And we're going to actually add or change a few values of the border review. Uh, I want it to be counterclockwise. And I want it to start not from the top, but from 45 degrees angle. So it kind of more fits in line with that. And we're going to move the review of that after it. Okay, so we will have this going on. So of course it doesn't look that interesting right now. So we want it to overlap like here five frames before it goes away. And here, actually, add five frames in. And this circle, instead of it being just statically coming up, we want it to scale up. So we're going to scale it actually down a little bit. And pretty much, um, let's do 50%. And then scale like one, two, three, four, because we're here and scale to 150, just for reference. So, what's going on? Okay, I, I know what's going on because it's kind of an optical thing that's going on. So we're, if this rotation is going from 100 to there, let's add a rotation also on the entire thing. So we're going to toggle here, change to 180 here. I'll move 180 here and make this zero here. Okay, that's more interesting. The only downside is you probably shouldn't use the scale anymore. Okay, that doesn't do 100%. Yeah, let's add just a dissolve after it. Just a quick dissolve. Let's see how that would look if I change the border thickness to, um, yeah, change um, this last five frames. Um, so we have this edge radius and we change to I think if 110 it should be like almost given away so if we play this out yeah that looks better We can now animate some text. So we're going to add some text here. So type here. Um, yeah. Yeah, if you guys haven't uh, 
added me yet on uh, Instagram, please follow me. I'll post quite a lot of things. Uh, so it's at Shongda. Um, yeah, let's do it full capital. And let's search for an interesting font. So the normal font that I always use right now is thin condensed and I make it also slightly thicker. Um, the size is a little bit big right now. Be like that. That looks fine. And let's just duplicate this. Hold on Alt and drag it up. Now we can move this up. And change this to Instagram. So actually, let's make this slightly bigger. You can see the alignment slightly better. So that looks fine. And we want the text to like slide out from here. The reason why we're not using the transform tool that is inside of the text itself, it does not uh, add any motion blur uh, settings onto the here. So we're, we don't really want to use those transform. So going to now go to the effects panel or uh, yeah, the effects and we're going to use the actual transform. So here we have actually the shutter angle. We're going to change that to 180. Uh, sampling to by cubic because uh, the by linear uh, for a lot of the left right movement sometimes it causes like weird lines instead of uh, proper movements. And we're going to use the use composition shutter angle. Going to turn that off. Now we're going to, basically it's already in place. So we're going to go to end position. So make this like uh, 10 frames, one, two, three, or 15 frames also. And going to position. So it's already at the position we want. And go to the start and move the entire text like to just inside of the icon or pass this edge of the icon. So now when we move it, you can see, and also here at a ease in or ease out. Uh, personally, I just use the bezier and I just like to draw it myself. So basically on the top one with Instagram, we do the same and I'm going to change here the same things. And also one, one, two, three. Also add this Bezier. And now we have these two moving at kind of similar speeds, but we want to have like first one come in and then the other. So we're going to move Shongda to a later point. So we have Instagram and then Shongda. Yeah. Okay, so now we have that and that looks actually pretty fine. Let's look at this at 100% or fit. 
And now to make this instead of being like that, we're going to move this nested all the way to top. And these two, the Instagram and Shungda, we're going to select both of them and nest them together. Uh, otherwise, we could just basically drop a separate crop on them, but basically, you don't need to do that. Um, so, I'm going to find like a spot where they cover here. So, crop from the left side. Just crop it that it's behind there and now when we play it, it just comes out from here. So that was the Instagram lower third. So to now move it in place uh, instead of moving all three of them separately, you can now select all of them, nest them together. And now we can change the positioning to where you want it to be. Uh, let's put it somewhere like this. So now we placed it at a location or spot on the screen that we want it to appear all the time. Now we can actually export it. Uh, we can actually go to file here, export media. And there are a few settings we can choose from. So the most important thing is we want it not be an H246. We want to go to something that we can have like a alpha channel because we want the to use or keep using this on a different video. So we have here QuickTime chosen. We're now going to Go to GoPro Cineform and we don't need maximum bitrate depth. Uh, RGB 12 bit alpha should be fine. Okay, so now we've chosen GoPro Cineform RGB 12 bit with alpha. So the alpha is enables uh, the black background that you now see that will be transparent. So we can drag this uh, clip into our next videos and just uh, yeah keep using this clip instead of redoing this effect every time so now we're going to export this it's going to be pretty fast because this is a short animation Grab that shot and we drag in our this one we can put on top of here and we can see that it's a transparent video so we can actually every time just drag in this video clip with alpha instead instead of having to build this effect every time so hopefully you guys like this video and please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button here below and also of course if you haven't yet followed me on instagram follow me on instagram at shongda and i'll see you guys the next time bye bye